Hi, I've been asked this question a couple of times. How do you program an Atmel SAM MCU without a bootloader or the Arduino IDE? In this video, I'll show you how to do this using Linux and an Atmel in circuit debugger. And the crosstalk on the bottom lane looks pretty bad mm, this morning, yum. so you may have to take an alternate route. Next up on Micmac FM is... The Atmel SAM MCUs are a step up from the old AVR series. Atmel provide a range of them targeted towards different applications. Besides running an ARM core, they also have multiplex serial comms, called SIRCOM, allowing you to assign functions to different pins. They're a pretty neat chip. However, if you ever design a board yourself, like this one I designed for a customer, the MCU won't of course contain any bootloader, which is a requirement if you want to use an IDE like Arduino or Eclipse. With this method you can choose to burn a bootloader and then use one of those IDEs or just keep using this method to develop your code. You will of course need the Arduino ICE which allows you to program a variety of MCUs and connects to your PC via USB. You can pick up these for around $60 US if you don't want the snazzy case or you can use a Raspberry Pi. In a later video I'll show you how to use a Pi instead. First of all, you're going to need OpenOCD version 0.10. The reason is that this version now supports a lot of the Atmel SAM MCUs. Depending on your Linux distribution and release you're running, you may or may not have the latest version of OpenOCD. I tend to use Debian which only has version 0.90 since I'm running the latest stable release. To upgrade, I could use a Debian feature called apt pinning to select the more recent version, but sometimes it's easier just to download the deb files and install manually. There was only one upgraded dependency that I needed to download, which was libgim. So I just installed that along with the updated version of OpenOCD. Once you have the correct version of OpenOCD, you'll need to install a couple more packages, which is called a cross compiler, as it targets a different processor that runs on the build machine. Once you have all that installed, create a directory with the name of your choice. I call it test code. Then change into that directory and create a file called openocd.cfg. This file has several key parts to it. The interface line defines the type of in-circuit debugger you are using, which in this case is the Arduino ICE. The next two lines refer to the USB device that you're using and Atmel ICE serial number. Both are important and I'll show you how to get those in a minute. The next two lines are the type of SAM MCU you are using. It's also important that you use the right definition here. In my case I'm using the SAM D21G18. To find out your Atmel ICE USB device just run LSUSB. And to find the serial number of your device just use this command. Then head back to your openocd.cfg file and update and save. You should now be able to run the OpenOCD command and see this response. Powering up your board and plugging it into the debugger should make the green LED light up. OpenOCD will see the device connected and then just sit there. This means that it's now listening on port 3333 and waiting for a connection. Next you will need to install the Atmel software framework. This is a fairly large package that you'll need to download and install. You'll actually end up using only around a kilobyte of this half a gigabyte package, but you'll need to fetch it all regardless. Once downloaded, unzip to somewhere on your file system. I unzipped it under the share directory under my home directory. Once unzipped, head back to your source code directory. Create a subdirectory called xdk-asf change into this directory as you will need to create a bunch of symbolic links back to the ASF directory. Make sure you are using the correct MCU as things will break if you don't. Check out my website for more details on this. So after all that it should look a bit like this. Now you'll need to create a file called makefile back in the test code directory. There are three important parts that you'll need to update in this file. The LD script definition needs to point to the correct MCU LD file that you are using, along with the boot up files which need to match the ones you symlinked in from the ASF directory, and the MCU type needs to be correct as well. 
This make file will build the testcode.c file and generate a file called testcode.elf and will upload the firmware to the MCU using the GDB cross compiler which connects to the open OCD backend. Next you want to start coding up. I created a simple LED flasher because there's nothing better than seeing an LED flash. Depending on what board you are using, things might change a little. For the board I designed, I had an LED connected up to GPIO PA28. So I set the direction of the pin and toggled it. I also defined a delay function to provide a pseudo millisecond delay. Since I haven't performed any other initialization, the SAMD21 will default to using its internal 8 MHz PLL clock. So this gives me an almost accurate millisecond delay. Once you have your C file created, just run make to build it. If you want to burn the firmware and run it, then type make debug. GDB will connect to OpenOCD on port 3333, which you did leave running in another shell. You did leave it running, didn't you? You should see OpenOCD responding like this. You can now burn the firmware by typing load and run by typing monitor reset. And there you go. Pretty easy, isn't it? So there you have it. It's pretty simple to get started with SAM MCUs and really the same method can be used for the old AVRs as well. You just have to make sure that you update the correct MCU details in the various files. In a later video I'll show you how to do the same thing using a Humble Pi. Thanks for watching. See you next week. And that's it for another episode. Don't forget to check out my website for further details and thanks for watching.